the AI tool I am talking about is AI Thor. The link to this AI tool will be in the description of this video. Please check that out. So this is very simple and nice uh, interface of this AI tool. But before doing anything else, I definitely recommend creating an account on this platform because it will help you to keep your work safe and organized. Actually, it's easy to do that. Click on this login button here. And on this window, you will have multiple options. You can create an account with your Facebook or Google, which I did so, or with your just email and password. It's that simple. And then we can start using it. All right, now we are logged in and let's explore more. As you can see, you can immediately type on the bar and start creating. But before doing that, I want to show you some stuff. The first thing, for example, you'll notice is that there are lots of different writing styles and tones to choose from. These options will be available while creating as well. And when you are working on your text, you can pick up options like formal, informative, objective and other tones. There are even more styles. You can check them all out. If you have questions, there's a helpful section for you. You might find answers to your questions there. I won't I will not go through all of them now, but it's a good place to look at if you are stuck and if you have some questions before using these AI tools. And if you have a question and you cannot find an answer here, you can directly contact them. Now the really cool part is the tools and platform section. AI Thor has different tools for different writing tasks. For example, there's a tool that can help you to paraphrase the text if that's what you need. It's here. But I'm going to test essay generator in this video tutorial. Click on it. And this is the interface of this essay generator. Type your questions on this bar. I'm going to type my own request. The impact of climate change on global human mobility. So here it is change. And it's processing the topic and it says this is a good topic. I'm glad to read that. And click on this create button. In the next section, in here, you will see the pages. So the AI Thor asks you how many pages you want. With the free version, I think it is a bit limited, but the premium version can be up to 25 pages. But for this video, I'm going to click on these 7, 12 pages. And again, you will see the symbols and words here. Next, on the next section, you will see the tone of the voice. Uh, we talked about this earlier. And you can select the formal, informative, objective, analytical. I'm going to select analytical here. And next, there are some uh, styles, the citation styles here, like MLA, APA. You can go without it. I usually use the Oscola from Oxford University. It's not here, so they don't have all these citation styles. But for this video, I'm going to select the Harvard. And next, hang tight. We are getting your table of contents ready. So first, it's preparing the table of contents. It's very long one though. So it's introduction, understanding climate change, its drivers, causes of climate change, key climate change indicator, conceptualizing human mobility. So if you are good with it, you can go to the next section, read it until the end. Next, it starts writing all sections. I think the good part of this tool is that even if you are not going to use the to use the generated text of this AI tool, maybe you can use the structure that it has given you. And as you see, all sections are done. I must mention here that be always careful with the AI generated text. Never just copy paste like this and put into your own work. It will bring more problems to your own work rather than solving the existing ones. But how you can, I recommend using this AI tool is that the best way read this, have some ideas and read other sources and then start writing it. And it, 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 it will definitely help you. And the best part with this AI tool as well, you can customize it like you can select it this part and you can customize it. You can find references. And let's see if I click on this find references button, it's going to check the sources and it gives me the list of sources which I can use for this tool. So I'm going to pick one and confirm as you see in the Harvard style it added in the parentheses and under the conclusion part so you will see these references, the name of the uh, author, the name of the article and if you click on this link it will navigate you to the original sources. You can also check the sources by yourself by copy pasting the name of it, put it on the Google but in my testing 
AI tour always gave me the real existing sources. The ChatGPT still hallucinates in certain cases, gives you non-existing sources, but this tool always gives you nice sources to the existing real papers. You can also, again, select the text and you can paraphrase and you can expand and you can shorten the text. So these are the features you can use with essay generator of the AI Thor. As you can see, your old documents will be collected under my documents folder here. And if you are done, you can export your work as docx, the Word document and PDF file, and then download it. Okay, here are a couple of words about the pricing plans of AI Thor. AI Thor has a free version, as you can see here, which is great for trying it out. But keep in mind, you won't be able to use all the features with the free plan. If you want to unlock the everything AI Thor can do, you will need to choose a paid plan. They offer three options, the monthly, quarterly and annually plans. The annual plan is the best deal if you are planning to use AI Thor a lot. But you can also use the Vugard 10 code, the promo code when you sign up. This will give you an extra 10% of your subscription. All right, we learned a lot about AI Thor in this video, but before we finish, I need to share some really important advice. Use AI Thor and other AI tools wisely. Just because you can use them doesn't always mean you should. And always think about ethics, ethical considerations when you are writing. What's the right thing to do? Always ask this question. And before you use any AI tool, make sure to read your university rules. Some schools have strict policies about using AI for assignments, essays, etc. And protect your academic integrity always. It is always important in an academic environment and don't risk getting in trouble just to make writing a bit easier. Remember, tools like AI Thor are here to help you, not to do all the work for you, not to replace you. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel. And got questions then feel free to leave them in the comments below i'll do my best to answer them thank you